Looks like the thing's at Fat D or heating up. Hey guys, what is up? Love you back here again, and thanks for checking out the channel. And we're going to talk about the new proposal for the ATF about pistol braces and all that fun stuff. But first, we're from our sponsor, which is uh, me. Sponsor my own video. So yeah, let's get right into it. So they released a nice little questionnaire kind of thing, kind of cosmopolitan style to... Uh, not exactly sure what they're doing with this or what they intend to do it. I think it measures your dick size. So the higher the number, the bigger your dick. I'm going to post the links for this. Maybe, I don't know, for the actual question or if you want to take it yourself, be my guest. But I will be posting the links for the comment section, which is now just open for the ATF. Okay, so the first one here, we have based or basically not based or incorporated a shoulder stock design that is known. I'm not really sure what that means. Aren't all shoulder stocks kind of based on old shoulder stocks? And while they're at it, isn't the ATF trying to regulate pistol braces, not stocks? Huh? Of course, they're talking about the new ones, like the SBA-3 and the SBA-4, or whatever that kind of go off of the, you know, you know, your standard kind of M4 profile or whatever. But what about the original uh, SBA, whatever the hell, A1? You know, that big, like, top of the boot kind of thing that were just, like, super duper comfortable and shit? Oh, yeah. That brings back memories right there. That's uh, that's pretty reminiscent of it. Just about as stable too. Very sturdy. After that, if you basically have something that is not based on a shoulder stock, you get zero points. If you have something that incorporates a design feature, whatever that means, uh, you get one point. And then also, if the whole thing is based off a shoulder stock design, you get two points. So I think basically anybody with a gun that's not a uh, sawed off shotgun is gonna get two points there. I'm not entirely sure this thing might be uh, rigged. So the next one is rear surface area. It has a device that incorporates a feature to prevent use as a shouldering device. Uh, I mean, I don't really know how they intend to do that. I mean, technically, if I wanted to here, I could just take this off and, you know, the AR itself is kind of, you know, I mean, it sucks dick, but I mean, I could shoulder it if I wanted to. I'm not really sure how you prevent somebody from shouldering it. I mean, I guess you could like super glue a fucking nail right here or something. That might do the trick. So yeah, I think I get a uh, full points on that one there. Adjustability, non-adjustable fixed design is zero points or if it adjusts at all, two points. Um, doesn't look very adjustable to me, zero points. Oh wait, this is for deck size, right? I mean like 17, 17 points, one point for every inch. Stabilizing support, counterbalance design, non-folding counterbalance design that folds creating a rear contact surface one point or fin type design with arm strap or fin type design without arm strap or cuff design partial cuff design split stock configuration holy shit this doesn't seem like anybody really thought this thing out if they have all these little subcategories for the one stabilizing support category i'm not really sure what a counterbalance is um, I think they're just saying if it has weight to it, that's illegal. So, felony. Fin type design? Nope, ain't got that shit. I like, uh, I like a wide surface area, so when I put my arm in the strap, you know, I don't get chafing. Cuff type design or split stock? <clears throat> well, I think this is more of a cuff style. Um, I'm not sure how, unless you have some type of, you know, bulimic or anorexic woman arms you might be able to get that in there or if you're a child you know don't want to discriminate i think everybody should be able to have guns that, like just like over in africa with arm strap holy fuck this thing has an arm strap just kidding atf i i use it all the time for that you could take this fucker off too length of pull measured from trigger to stabilizing brace okay well i mean how do you like the further out most rear locked position got it so that's like 13 inches and over damn right yeah i don't know just give me it only goes up to four points just give me five points i don't give a shit so the next one the attachment method this one's a little perplexing because it's basically talking about how you attach the pistol brace uh to the rifle the very last one says attachment method creates an unusable aim point slant and brackets uh that is uh that is a crispy three points um, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I don't know if they're talking about a bubba, a bubba up gun or something like that. And they're basically just giving you more points because you fucked up your gun. I'm not really sure what that means. An attachment method creates an unusable aim point. No idea. Cuff type or fin type design with a strap to shoot the function. 
uh, elastic strap. I didn't know they made these things with elastic. Oh, it is elastic. <laughs> Never tugged on this thing, unlike other things. Ah, here we go. Here's some fun ones. Peripheral accessories. Uh, we got a presence of a hand stop. Um, depends what you define as a hand stop. I guess my light could technically be a hand stop, but we'll, we'll, we'll throw it on there. Fuck it. Two points for me. Presence of a secondary grip indicating two-handed fire. Well, I mean, I have a light up here that I technically need two hands for this. Um, usually even in handguns, you need two hands to activate that light unless you got one of those fancy switches. Um, you know, I mean, I suppose I could be a fucking retard and like somehow shoot like this and use my tongue to pull the trigger you know that might work wouldn't be the first time my tongue made something explode in my face it's not a lot gayer than i intended to i apologize pride month so you get one point for a rifle type backup flip up sights or no sights so if you've got any type of sighting system at all you get one fucking point or if you're trying to be fucking fancy for youtube videos and have no sights one point presence of a reflex sight with a magnifier with Limited eye relief, two points. How the fuck does that make sense? Why does the magnifier matter? I mean, I can I can shoot this one-handed pretty easily even without the strap. What kind of fucking soy boy bitches are at the ATF? Presence of a sight slash scope with eye relief incompatible with one-handed fire. Okay, I can I can shoot my gun like this, hold it sideways, even straight up gangster, but I can also do this one-handed. I mean, again, I'm not exactly sure how much. How much fucking fake meat you guys are eating over at the ATF? But you guys need to start, you know, eating some goddamn protein or something, lifting some weights, because that's fucking pathetic. I mean, I can shoulder a gun one-handed without using of uh, a thingamajig. Granted, I know I'm not supposed to, but I mean, even if I kept it just slightly away from my shoulder, it's pretty doable. Not gonna lie. And then if I wanted to, just straight up one arm this bitch, it's doable. I can do it. I can handle it. I got it. Don't worry about it. Presence of a bipod slash monopod. Well, fuck. What about a magazine? Is that a monopod? I mean, it's kind of a monopod. Does that count? We'll say it counts. An extra point. Oh, wait. Extra two points for me. Weapon configured weighing more than 120 ounces. Weighed with magazine. I don't know. 18 pounds. Four points for me. All right. So that was pretty much the whole questionnaire list. I think I got somewhere in the neighborhood of like realistically probably around 16 20 points something like that i don't even know um hypothetically if this was going for dick size my dick would probably be around the football field length give or take but yeah i will post the link guys for the uh comment section that is now open for the atf letter obviously go in there drop your comments let them know how displeased you are as you should even if you don't have any of these they should not be able to do any more type of regulations or whatever you want to call these things more a little pissy fist to take away people's rights and abilities to put whatever the hell they want on their gun. Like, this is this is just silly shit. So, um, usually, I don't really care. At least back in the day, I didn't really give a shit about this kind of stuff. But now, obviously, I do when it gets a little bit more real and in your face. The, the first time I actually did it was when they tried to ban MA-55. And for people who did not know, um, I live near the Anoka, or as I used to. I live near the Anoka Federal uh, ammunition plant where they actually make that stuff and to me it was just a little bit of weird they make it pretty much right down the road and then now I won't even be able to buy an ammunition that they made which was a little fucking ridiculous to me so I, that was the thing that kind of got me into this whole thing so but other than that like I said I'll leave the links below for comment stuff and then I'll leave a link for all this fun stuff if you want to do the questionnaire yourself I would recommend it it's a good fun good time um, and then also for everybody that wants to subscribe please do so Leave your likes and comments and all that fun stuff below. I do have a Amazon link if you guys want to support the channel. If you need some stuff, um, you can just go to Amazon, click a link that's below. You don't even need to buy that specific thing. You just have to click the link and then just go Amazon shopping if you want to give me a little bit of kickback. Don't worry, it's basically nothing. It's basically, I think, uh, somewhere on the 1% or something like that, something very tiny. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it. And... Uh, be good.